guys, welcome back to the channel, and we're back on our blue hue build. Now I'm calling it a blue, 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 blue hue blue, blue, build. <laughs> So guys, welcome back to the channel and a Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs> uh, we're back on our blue hue build. Now I'm calling it a blue hue build because we are angling this at a semi-heritage look. I'm trying to give it that classic appeal and I've been very interested reading all your comments about this vehicle. Uh, as you guys know, uh, we have given it a bit of a silver package and the, what, the roof is still white. And I did mention in the video that I want to cut some windows into this. Now we had a massive uproar or backlash, if you will, about not cutting windows into it. So. Uh, what do you reckon? Windows. Windows or not? Do you think windows? It does look cool as a van. Yeah, I, I personally think it looks nice as a van. It does. I, yeah, I it think, does. Yeah. But I think the aim of this is at a junction, it's a bit of a nightmare trying to see out the back of the windows and stuff like that. But equally, we are preparing this vehicle for sale. So if it has windows, if it doesn't, I'm not really too fussed. But I think windows might be a nice addition to this vehicle personally. It's just a bit more usable. Yeah, uh, like you said, and Because so they are a nightmare to like You've got no visibility yeah, in that. Sure. But I appreciate that if someone wants to put racks on the side, blah, 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 then it's kind of perfect for that. <laughs> so guys, in today's video, we're going to be focusing on the interior of this project. Now the interior, this is a, it started as a basic 90. So it didn't have electric windows and you've actually added those, haven't you? You've already added the regulators and stuff like All that. All the electrical stuff. That's right, but we haven't finished the wiring. So. Uh, I think the focus of today, I want to unbox something very exciting. As I mentioned in the last video, uh, we have a killer interior for this, and I'm so excited to show you guys. This interior is going to look insane, isn't yes. it? I think we've made the right Gorgeous, choice yeah. for this. We'll go downstairs, we'll unbox what we've got, and we'll show you our plan for this, and uh, let's get started. <laughs> So guys, before I unveil our grandmaster plan of what this interior is, which is here, by the way, just ridiculous interior, it looks so good, and it's not a colour that I ever would have chosen usually, but equally, this build is not, um, it's not typically, it's not a typical build for us, and I'm really enjoying the fact that this is different and unique to us, and I think this interior is mad. Yeah, I can't wait to show you guys. So um, before I explain this, you're going to have to keep watching for a few minutes longer. We're going to pull out the front seats first because we're going to be re-trimming them. And then we'll go over to the bench. We'll unpackage all of our new items and show you guys what we've got. front seats out we've got the three-piece dash kit out and we've got that um farmer's tray cup holder out in the middle of the car and they're the items that we'll be replacing up the front and then we have got some bench seats for the back as i mentioned i believe in the first video so guys as you know we purchased this defender but as always before buying any vehicle it's always wise to get the vehicle hpi checked to make sure there's no accidents no damages it's not stolen etc and you guys need to check out car vertical for this so guys i've punched in the registration of the defender we purchased into car vertical and check this out this is so cool uh, there's no mileage fraud that has been disclosed by the report the vehicle has not been wanted or stolen and there's no data about being on any kind of accident on their system and the vehicle also has the all-important no outstanding finance which is fantastic now if we scroll down we see all the registration plate changes any mot failures which is fantastic and the cool thing about this is you have a mileage lineup so here you can see that 
all the vehicle mileage is, is all is all sort of commensurate with its age. There's no no messing around to an MOT. It all lines up, all looking fantastic. And the cool thing about car vertical is they check this report in over 20 countries. So you've got no problems with it kind of being imported and then deported back and potentially wiping that record of anything. But just so you guys are aware, so this is a clean vehicle. This is the one in the video, of course. Um, if we go on to another one here, uh, so this is another Defender which is for sale. Uh, no mileage, no theft, but it has got a report of an accident. And Car Vertical have the images of when this Defender was involved in this smash. And my goodness, what a smash this was. You can see the whole front left is caved in, the front right is caved in, uh, but more importantly, the, the back is absolutely smashed in. But the chassis actually looks okay, so uh, it's a high likelihood that this vehicle um, will be back on the road. And considering it's only got 34,000 miles, is a high likelihood that somebody has purchased this, uh, potentially put on a, you know, a, new, a new rear corner or a rear tub and a door, uh, and then sold it on. So you just want to make sure that you are checking any defenders you're buying or any vehicle you're thinking of purchasing through Car Vertical. I mean, I've never seen a HPI checker like this, this kind of in-depth with photos like this. It's just um, a really, really cool service and it's got so much information. So guys, do check it out. Do check out a vehicle you are purchasing, potentially thinking of buying. Use the link in the description. Thank you so much, Car Vertical. Let's get back on with the video. So guys, these are our old seats that we've removed. They are the original denim twill, but at some point somebody has replaced the bases because they've got a brick pot on. Very common place, uh, and it just means that we have, I suppose, a better start to this job because uh, the originals might not have been in, a be in the best condition for a rebuild. Now, when I mean a rebuild, we're gonna be keeping the actual frames, and a Puma is a double post seat. So the original earlies would be a single post, and you can still retrim them, but um, the double post gives you a bit more flexibility because you can fit the later mono post style seats. It's not what we've done to in today's video, but what I will show you is how we're gonna retrim this um, and effectively make this car look really good for, I can't even remember how much they were, but they're not the cost of like the original buckets that you see. There's so many bucket seats in Defenders now. And to be honest, I actually really like the original seats. I think they're comfortable, they provide enough support and they've got a low base. So when you get in and out, it's not, you're having to hop over um, and there's no squeaking on the B pillar. So I think you get the kind of, the right amount of Land Rover Defenderage from you that you want. Um, without going too sporty, which can often be the case. You can be sort of too, too hugged into this kind of shell and it's a bit uncomfortable for longer journeys. I don't think there's anything really wrong with these seats, but let's get what we're here for, unbox what we've got. Now, because this vehicle is going classic, we've got a, a kind of washed blue and we're going for a heritage look. I had the choice of going cream, which I don't think would wear well. However, I think it would look insane. Uh, tan, I've done it before. I do like tan, but I think it's a bit too commonplace. Now, I would never have usually installed brown. And this is a deep chocolate brown. And I've gone for a classic fluted. That looks so, so good. Now, we have been provided this kit from Lucari Solutions, um, LRI. Um, we always use them, or Exmoor Trim, or other people, but uh, great service. They can, they, can, they can turn it around quickly. And they provide a retrim kit, which is really cool, because it means that you can retrim your original seats, saving a load of money, but still having that plush quality look that you want from the vehicle. So we've gone for this fluted, deep. I think it's called deep chocolate and it just looks so fresh. And this is gonna look really smart in this car. And I'm so glad we went for this color because like I said, this isn't the usual uh, commonplace for us to go for this deep chocolate leather. And then we've gone for the three piece dash kits, the bits you've seen me remove, all those bits to tie everything together. Uh, a high rise cubby box, which is here. So it's kind of ready for the lever rather than sort of you know what I mean if you've got a Defender. The cubby box should be a little bit higher. And that is a high rise cubby box. I think it's like 50 mil taller, which is really nice. And you're in a more relaxed position when you're driving. And then in here, now I need you guys to comment down below. If I, I actually purchased this steering wheel for our high capacity. And it's a deep, it, it's a motor liter steering wheel that took me. Dan, how long did the motor liter wheel take? About two months. Two months? Not that bad, but equally two months waiting time for this to be made. In, in what I think goes so well with this interior. And I'm contemplating whether to fit it to this vehicle or not. I do have another steering wheel which I was gonna fit to this, but I think it is slightly crying out for this wooden steering wheel because the color match is so good. And they have the kind of the light brown on the shelf, but the deep brown, they had to make it. And I just think this might be, this might be taking her going away with this car because I think it just looks so good. And I think it would just tie everything together a little bit more. And then, like I said in the previous video, I believe, all you did for dinner, 
We're gonna be fitting bench seats in the back. Uh, because this it was not an original county station wagon, on a Puma, you have the step tubs. You've seen it, uh, me convert them before. I will leave a link in the description below when I converted them into a, a step tub. I'm rambling. We have bench seats, which I think are really cool because it gives you that novelty factor of being in a Land Rover. You're sort of facing each other. And again, Lucari have, uh, have quite literally pulled out the bag of this. Um, <laughs> but that looks super smart in the back. And you still get all the goodness of the load area. I think the forward facing seats, although they're safer, which I must, I must stress they are much safer, hence why they're introduced, you lose a lot of the load area. Um, so I think the bed seats are gonna be really cool and look really nice in this. It would be a little bit weird if it didn't have windows at this point, because obviously we'd have the bed seats, um, but it's not uncommon to see a van with seats uh, if you're doing shorter journeys, whatever. Um, let's reach on the front seats and see how these are gonna look, because I think they're gonna look mega, and we can throw them in the interior. I'm gonna keep the Hardura in this car, because I think we're going very Defender with this car, and I think carpet, although it looks fantastic, um, the angle of this car, and the owner I imagine who will be owning this, um, dogs, wellies, whatever, carpet can get trashed quite quickly, and I think the, the, the Hardura can wipe it clean, it makes the most sense. So, let's return the front seats. So guys, what you've just seen us there doing is re-trimming those seats. And they've come out so nice, they look absolutely amazing. Now, annoyingly, uh, Lucari forgot to send us a base. Um, so we haven't got the passenger side base. They were super cool about it. They, they're gonna send us another one. They've expedited it, blah, blah, blah. But we can't get the passenger side in today. But it's no stress. We can get everything else in. We've totally re-trimmed the drivers. We've done the back of that anyway. The base is pretty quick to do. So now's the moment. We can fit all of this to the car and see what all of this hard work was for. 
gonna look absolutely insane. I think it's gonna transform this car. And uh, we might even offer up the rear benches, see what it looks like, and uh, go from there. So guys, we just fitted up those stainless steel wheel nuts and I think they make all the difference. It just those little bits of sparkle, a little bit of touch, a little bit of quality. And I think it's annoying actually because it's actually quite dark in here. So you can't just see all of this and it's actually a little bit dark outside, but that interior looks insane. We're so happy with it. But this is the point that I'm trying to make with regards to the windows. It's very dark in there. And I think a little bit of added light would do so much for the car. And it would just feel like a, a Defender isn't a spacious place to be, and I think the more light you allow in, I think it just makes a world of difference. But nonetheless, the interior is looking absolutely ace. We're super happy with it. Come and have a look at it. I definitely think the chocolate leather was the right way to go. It's just setting off this whole blue. Um, I think, now this might be weird, I think the whole point of like the green and tan um, and the, the colours that work are usually the opposites on the colour wheel. And I think, what is opposite to blue on the colour wheel? Opposite is happy. <laughs> <laughs> that blue, the opposite, is actually a deep tan. But I think the brown is suiting the vibes of this car. It just has a... Do you know what I'd say this is, Bertie? Oh, it's very mature. It is very mature. It's very mature, this car, and I like it. That, that's that exact, has, like, yes. sophistication and also a bit of style. This is very stylish, very... Um, very Defender-ish, I think. I think we've absolutely nailed this with the colour combination. This just looks fantastic. Now, of course, I, there are going to be some comments. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this interior. Uh, did we make the right choice? What would you have preferred? Um, or did we absolutely nail it? I think we've, of course, I think we've made the right choice. Um, I did have this kind of in my mind and in my vision. And uh, I, th I think it looks great. But it would be nice just to have a bit more light because it's very different to see. But this has highlighted the fact that the... The black dash in certain areas, there's too much black against brown. I don't think those colors work together too well. The steering wheel is just it has to go. And I'm really leaning towards that wooden one I showed you, the Motolita one. Let me know if you guys think we should add that to this vehicle, uh, potentially in the next episode when we finish this car up. Now, we do have, I did when I got all the arches painted and the other and the wheels painted bits and bobs, I got that radio fascia in the center painted in the same cons blue. Let me go grab it. Now I think that, it's just gonna, again, tie into all of these nice little touches that we're doing. It's not too outrageous, the color of it. You know, if this was like a, a white car, that would be the weirdest thing. But I think for something like this, very nice, very classy, and these little touches, little differences make the whole picture come together as a very stylish and classy build. But um, I think let's get this fitted and see where we end up.
guys, now that we've got the interior looking right, definitely up at the front. Now, still something to do with the steering wheel, maybe the gear knobs, I'm not sure just yet. But the back end, uh, because I want to retain that hard euro that's in the front, uh, I think that is a really nice solution. As much as I love carpet, uh, it's a pain to keep clean and a pain to look nice, whereas I think the hard euro uh, very much suits this look. This kind of utilitarian, it's classic, you can wipe it clean, you can, you can do whatever you need to do. So in the back, um, Land Rover make a hard euro drop-in mat but it doesn't fit the TDCI models. Um, so you only fit, it's, it's a pre-TD5 one. They're all the same, but they've got like a little flap at the back that you just chop off with a Stanley blade. And then this whole thing has a big, thick ribbed hard Dura laying mat with a Land Rover stamp in the middle. Looks very genuine, looks perfect. Um, and it's literally just in the corners, which you have to trim away. So I'm gonna do that now, fit this mat, and then I'm gonna plop in those bench seats and see what they look like. So guys, check this out. Now the mat actually drops straight in. Now you have to let them unfold for a while. They stay all wrinkly for a little bit, but um, they level out and they just, this, this is such thick stuff. It's nice, it's wipeable, it looks very smart. Look at the interior. Those seats look fantastic. All tied together along with that center dash panel. Really makes sense this interior now, but I, I think I'm set on the windows. You guys, you're gonna have to change my mind if not, but if, if not, we'd have to put some paneling, I think there with like the, the nets or something, just to finish off that van side. But they look so, so good. I think they're the right choice rather than the forward facing. You've still got all the load area. They can tip up as well, get out of the way, but there's a bit of a novelty factor here. You're facing each other. It's like the old defenders. Um, I mean, those seats, the whole car's really come together now. It needs a, it needs a bloody good wash. I'm going to have to do that in the next video. But that wheel's annoying me and potentially that shifter. But other than that, it's looking super smart. And this is such a stylish car. I still absolutely love that front end. And those pops of silver have made all the difference there, I think looking super smart. So guys, I think we've run out of time for today's video, but I hope you're absolutely loving this build. This is a lot of fun, this car to us. And I think we're going in such a nice little direction with this car. It's still gonna be very standard and a very refined OEM kind of plus. Very, as we said, mature vehicle indeed, but it's looking super smart. Let me know what you guys, as always, think in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe. It's a big, big help. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow on Instagram, which is at Juice Motors. And we'll see you guys for the next interesting update. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.